Hey, this is John Cena, WWE Superstar and 15-time champ, and you are watching this WWE Fan 13. You can't see us. What's up, guys? So I know I haven't made a video in about a week. I'm still trying to get better and whatnot, so I decided I felt pretty good today. We decorated my house for Christmas, so as you can see, I'm wearing my uh, Christmas hat. I'll be wearing it in a lot of videos this month, but it's my John Cena Santa hat, so just decided to wear it since it's December. Christmas is almost here. And so like I said, we decorated the whole house. I put together my niece's Barbie dream house. Wanted to shoot myself. Oh boy, that dream house was annoying. And if any of you guys on here are parents, like CB Breach, I don't know if your guys' daughters have the Barbie dream house, but if they don't, don't ever buy it. And if you do, well, you know the pain I went through. But anyways, um, as we all know, the Slammies are this Monday on Monday Night Raw. So I wanted to tell you guys who I voted for. Um, and who well, who I'm going to vote for. I'm going to vote uh, right now after I do this video. So let's start off with best couple of the year. Now the nominees are Tyson Kidd and Natalia, Jimmy Uso and Naomi, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, and Daniel Bryan and Brie. Now a lot of people are going to jump on the Brie. You know what? I noticed someone's missing. Where is Nikki and John Cena? Okay, anyways, I know a lot of people are gonna be on the bandwagon fan of the Bellas, uh, <coughs> Sadie. I'm um, just kidding. Um, but um, I'm actually going with Steph Demi Man and Triple H. Uh, it was a tie between, honestly, Natalia and Tyson Kidd and Triple H and Steph Demi Man. But I'm gonna go with Triple H and Steph Demi Man for a couple of the year because they were just badass this year. Let's be honest, guys. So. Rivalry of the Year, The Shield versus Evolution, Daniel Bryan versus The Authority, Brock Lesnar versus John Cena, Rusev versus The USA, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Um, this is an easy pick for me. Uh, it's definitely The Shield and Evolution. Those matches were badass. Most badass of the year, let's be honest here. So it's, that's an easy pick for me. Um, sorry if the lighting's a little weird, I don't know what's going on with my Mac, but anyways, um, yeah, it's definitely the shield and evolution, no doubt about it. Uh, raw guest, uh, host of, the, guest star of the year. I don't like these. Uh, Larry the Cable Guy, Jerry Springer, Kevin Hart, Hugh Jackman, and Betty White. Fuck it, Betty White. I'm going with Betty White. Betty White is funny as hell. Where's Grumpy Cat? Where is Grumpy Cat? Literally, you guys, hold on. Where the hell is Grumpy Cat? Literally, I know most of you guys didn't even know I had this thing, but I do. Um, I got it for my birthday in March. Uh, I saw it in the... I was actually one of the first ones to get this, but I actually saw it in the gift shop at the hospital I was at because I was in the hospital for my birthday. And I told my girlfriend, oh, I want Grumpy Cat. Oh my god, I love Grumpy Cat. Like, I've always loved Grumpy Cat. Um, well, her name's actually Totter Sauce, but whatever. Um... And she's like, no way, I'm not going to spend 25 bucks, blah, blah, blah. But she's just saying that, so um, it'd be a surprise. And she brought me Grumpy Cat. So, anyways, um, I'll actually put a picture at the end. It's just a cute picture, but yeah. So, here's my Grumpy Cat. But anyways, I'm going to go with Betty White. Um, really wish Grumpy Cat was on the list. I would have voted for Grumpy Cat. But anyways, um, tweet it. Best Twitter handle, a.k.a. social champion. Dolph Ziggler, John Cena, Zack Ryder, Ryback, Brady and Nikki, or Paige. Dolph Ziggler for sure. There's no doubt about that. If you guys are not following Ziggler on every social media website, I don't really go on Twitter, but Instagram, he has the best Instagram pictures. Um, it's a tie between Nikki and, uh, and Ziggler, but it's honestly Ziggler. Um, Ziggler just is awesome. Uh, faction of the year. The Authority, The Wyatt Family, The Shield. Why is this last one even on here? The Rosebuds. Okay, The Shield, by far. The most shit happened with The Shield. Um, wait, is Evolution on there? No, it's not. Um, I know it's probably going to be close between The Shield and The Wyatts, but it's honestly The Shield. If The Rosebuds win, I'm going to be pissed and be like, that was totally fake. Because for sure The Shield or The Wyatts would win it, but I'm going for The Shield. Okay, um, NXT Superstar of the Year, huh? The, it's, I love these guys and I can't say their name. The Incision 
Tyler Breeze, Sami Zayn, Adrian Neville. Um, Adrian Neville was probably the most breakout NXT superstar as of winning this belt from Bo Dallas. But I'm going to go with Sami Zayn. Um, he deserves it. It'll be interesting to see that NXT guys on Raw. And I wonder who the bunny is. I really feel like Sami Zayn's the bunny, but it's also her to be Justin Gabriel. So, I don't know. Uh, best actor. The Miz, Batista, The Rock, and Miz Dow. I'm going for Miz Dow. If not Miz Dow, then The Rock. The Rock's obviously the best actor out of the whole group. But Damon Sandow, Miz Dow, is badass. And funny as hell. Double cross of the year. The authority turns on Randy Orton on Raw. Seth Rollins betrays the shield and Jones our authority. Nikki Bella betrays her twin sister. I was seeing I will see that. Mark Henry turns on his friend. I predicted that. Um I'm gonna go with Seth Rollins turning on the shield. Seth Rollins is gonna win a lot of slammies. Literally. Um but yeah, definitely Seth Rollins turning on the shield. Fan participation award. Uh, you sold out. Nine ninety nine. We the people. I'm afraid I've got some bad news, and he's got the whole world in his hands. Oh, it's gonna be a hard one between he's got the whole world in his hands and you sold out. But I'm honestly gonna have to go with you sold out. Who doesn't chant that? When I was at my Make a Wish, I was like you sold out. Like literally, definitely Seth Rollins. Um, hashtag of the year. Hashtag Occupy Raw, hashtag RKO Out of Nowhere, hashtag Moscow Moose Knuckles, Knuckle, hashtag Eat Sleep Suplex Repeat, hashtag 999. Um, I'm going to go with RKO, RKO Out of Nowhere. Um, if you guys are not on Instagram and do not see those hilarious ass videos of them just having Randy Orton RKOing to random people out of nowhere, like soccer players, little kids tripping, it's funny as hell. I think there was even a Taylor Swift one. That one and a Justin Bieber one. There were so many. Um, WWE Tag Team of the Year. Goldust and Stardust, The Usos, Los Matadores with El Torito, Slater Gator with Mini Gator, and the Miz and Damian Mizdow. Um, this is going to be a tough one between Goldust and Stardust and uh, The Usos, but I'm going to have to go with The Usos. Um, they finally had their time to shine. Um, this year was their year, honestly. So, you know, Goldust and Stardust did awesome too, but this year was the Usos year. Um, tell me you just didn't say that. Insult of the year. Nikki tells Brie she wished she died in the womb. I was there uh, when she said that. Paul Heyman rap, uh, raps on John Cena. Chris Jericho insults an authority after Stephanie's arrest. I was there too to see that. Jailbird. That was so funny. Even my dad was cheering that. It was funny. The Rock insults Rusev and Lana on Raw. I'm going to go with Chris Jericho. That was priceless, especially being there. And you just hear the whole crowd saying, Jailbird, Jail. It was funny as hell. So I'm definitely going to go with that one. Uh, this is also moment of the year. Yes, movement occupies Raw, which is hashtag fake. If you guys honestly thought that the fans occupied Raw, like, they actually jumped over the fence. No. If you guys did not hear about... And you know what? There's this guy on here that always argues with me about this. But shut up. Um, I forgot your name. But anyways. Um, if you bought a Daniel Bryan shirt that night, you were able to go into the ring with him and do the whole little segment. So... Um, Let's see. Surprise return of the year. Hulk Hogan returns as guest host of WrestleMania. Uh, no, I was expecting that. Uh, Ultimate Warrior returns to WWE. WrestleMania Hall of Fame Raw. Batista returns and The Rock returns to interrupt Rusev and Lana. I'm going to go with the Ultimate Warrior. None of us ever thought we would ever see Warrior be inducted to the Hall of Fame. And it was best. It was awesome for me because I was there to see him on Raw, to see him at WrestleMania, and to see him get inducted to the Hall of Fame. Then he passed away. I think a day later, two days later. Rest in peace, Warrior. But yeah, it will be awesome to... Maybe his wife will come and accept the award or I don't know. 
um, extreme moment of the year. Brock Lesnar hits 16 driven suplexes at SummerSlam. Kane hits Daniel Bryan with tombstone on floor, steel steps and table on Raw. Eh. Chris Jericho hits a crossbody on Bray Wyatt from the top of the steel cage. Seth Rollins curb stops Dean Ambrose through the cinder blocks. Most extreme. I'm going to have to go with Chris Jericho. Because that's the most extreme, I think. Honestly, either that or Kane with Daniel Bryan. But I don't think Kane should get the award. Fucking Daniel Bryan should get that award for going through that shit. But, yeah. Uh, LOL moment of the year. Damien Mizdow as the Miz's stunt double. Mr. T. Oh my god, that was fucking funny. Oh my god, it was so annoying but so funny at the same time. Mr. T thinks his mother at the 2014 Hall of Fame. Oh my gosh, at the crowd you were just hearing the whole night. Mr. T's mom. And then at WrestleMania when he came out, Mr. T's mom. It was so funny. Vicky Guerrero throws Stephanie McMahon in a pool of pudding. And El Torito versus Hornswoggle. That was not funny. That was fucking stupid. Um, I'm gonna go with... Oof. I'm gonna go with Damien Miz. That was the Miz stump double. But very close tie to that is definitely the Mr. T. Diva of the year. AJ. Paige. Nikki or Brie. I'm gonna go with Paige. Paige is the breakout diva of the year. Without a doubt. She beat AJ at her first ever Raw. Every time, first time ever being on Raw. Beats her and just has had many title reigns and an awesome rivalry with AJ. I'm not taking any credit away from AJ. But AJ had last year. This year is Paige. I don't think AJ won last year, but whatever. Um, superstar of the year. Lesnar, Ambrose, Cena, Rollins, Brian, Reigns, Wyatt. As much as I would love to see Cena get it, I would love it. It obviously goes to Rollins, without a doubt. You know, close tie to that is Ambrose, but truly, it's Rollins. He's pulled off fucking crazy... All the S.H.I.E.L.D. members pulled off crazy shit in the matches. But do you remember Rollins jumping off the top of the entrance ramp thing, or that the screen, whatever he jumped off? Then he jumped off the stair, the top of the... Um, in the crowd. He turned on the S.H.I.E.L.D. He won money in the bank. He joined Authority. He fucking turns on Randy Orton. He just did so much this year. It's definitely Rollins. I know I'm not a Rollins fan. I'm an Ambrose fan. But I clearly see who deserves it. And it is Rollins. Anyone with eyes can see that. No matter how much you hate him. And the best one for last. Match of the year. Daniel Bryan versus Batista versus Randy Orton. Now as much as that was awesome to be there. That is not match of the year. That was match just fucking sucked. The Shield versus Ec Evolution. Extreme Rules. That is very close. John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. Now, as much as I love that match, no. And Team Cena versus Team Authority, no. So it obviously goes to the Shield versus Evolution. Without a doubt, that match was fucking epic as hell. So, yeah, guys, tell me who you guys are voting for. I'm going to place my votes right now, and uh, we'll see who wins on Monday. So I'll, I guess I'll do maybe a, uh, a uh, I guess, a results video of the Slammy Award winners. But I'll do my slam, but this is obviously my predictions and who would I would want to win. So, but mainly my predictions on who deserves it and who will probably get it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, so I have 666 subs. So please get me away from 666. I don't like that number. I'd rather be 667. But um, yeah. Um, I'd actually, you know what? I'd rather have it at 1,000. So if you guys want to get it to 1,000, that'd be great too. But... Um, yeah guys, so that's it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video, hopefully. Um, tomorrow I need to finish wrapping Christmas presents, and, uh, that's really it, but kind of start doing stuff with my room. But, uh, yeah, that's it, so I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video, and, yeah, thanks for watching. I literally cannot wear hats, or beanies, because this is what happens to my hair. Literally, what the fuck. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, give this video a thumbs up and comment right down below. And if you guys want to see some of my past videos, or stay tuned for some of my future videos, just hit that subscribe button that's down below also. And that's it for this video guys, so you can't see me.